Hey guys, Sean Off here with Sean Off Gaming and Guy Stuff. I wanted to take a look today at Cody, and I have an issue with Cody. Basically, I had a hard drive that was failing, and I move. I got a new hard drive, installed it, and moved all my ripped movies that were on that old drive over to the new one. And in doing so, none of the movie poster options came with it. When I added the new file path and rescraped them in the scraper didn't pick up and grab any new posters so at best I only had the poster I was using in Cody uh, it for an option when there should be a lot of movie poster options I'll kinda show what I'm talking about here so here we go to Alien vs Predator and as you can see there's no movie poster this is just a thumbnail of the movie and uh, the scraper didn't pick up any new ones so when you go to choose art um, there are no options. There's current art, which is the thumbnail, but there should be a bunch of poster options that the scraper have pulled in. And right now you can see that there just isn't any options. So that's kind of the issue that I was having. And that's just unacceptable. We need to have our scraper be able to pull in movie information and posters. So I'm going to kind of go through in this video and show what the issue was which I already did which most uh, most of my movies just had the thumbnails and if they did have a movie poster it was just one and that was the movie poster that I was using from uh, before I had moved my movies from drive A to drive B my new drive and like I said that's just unacceptable so if you guys are having this ish issue what we're gonna first do here is go to videos and go into our files and we're just gonna remove all the paths and all the sources for our library so here you can see I have my local ripped movies and I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those and I'm gonna remove just all my sources here and as you can see this will take a little while here um, after this gets done and after I'm done removing all my sources then we'll head over to where my actual video files are stored and we're gonna check out the naming convention that you should use for those so here's where all my video files are and uh, as you can see I just name them the name of the movie with space in between each word and then a space and then the year at the end and that seems to pick up everything just fine uh, one mistake I did make However, was when I had groups of movies like a Nightmare on Elm Street collection or Halloween collection, I would put the movies into a folder called Nightmare on Elm Street collection or Halloween collection where my actual files were here. So you can see that, um, you know, I would group all movies in a set in a folder named that. So a Nightmare on Elm Street collection, then inside of that folder I would have every Nightmare on Elm Street movie. The problem in doing that is the scraper has an issue picking it up so I had went and changed all that so now I just have a Nightmare on Elm Street the first one um, in the same naming convention so a Nightmare on Elm Street and then 1984 the year that it was made um, I would recommend that you name your movies this way and not have them in separate folders just one movie one folder the name of it and the file of the movie name the exact same in the folder and in doing that you won't have any issues with the scraper picking up uh, your movies as long as the year is correct sometimes the scraper if a scraper when you scan in your movies into Cody if Cody doesn't pick them up correctly or doesn't pick them up at all that's almost always because either the name of the movies wrong or more commonly for me <clears throat> the year is wrong so if you have Nightmare on Elm Street I just keep using that as an example Nightmare on Elm Street and you have 1986 or 88 or the year is wrong a lot of the times Cody won't be able to pick it up so make sure that your years are correct correct next we're gonna wanna go to where our actual movie files are that we're gonna scan into Cody and so you open up the folder that your movies are in and then under the search tab type dot NFO and then delete all the NFOs that it finds and then do the same for dot JPEG uh, poster and dot P 
PNG and anything else that isn't the actual movie uh, file. So posters, you want to delete those, you want to delete the NFOs, and you want to delete the PNGs and any text documents and anything else that's in there. Just get them out of there. All you want is your movie file. And there we look and see that we've deleted everything. So, And we're just doing a quick check here to make sure that there's nothing in our movie folders except our movies. So now that we've got all that done, removing the NFLs and whatnot, we're going to go in here and add our movie source um, back into Cody. So we're going to click on add videos in there and then we're going to navigate this to where our movie files actually are and then click OK and next it'll bring you to this screen and you can name the path whatever you want. I name mine local, something local. I put a star at the beginning because that moves it to the top. Um, so star and then I put where it is so I know what path it's looking at and then I'll put local so I know that um, what this path is pointing to is something local on my machine. And after we do this here, <laughs> then it'll bring up the box for our scrapers and we can put in our scraper settings. So here it'll ask what kind of content it is. We want to do movies, the movie database is the default scraper, which seems to work fine. Um, we want to do movies are in separate folders that match the movie title and scan record cursively. And this is why we name the movies the way that we do, so that we can put movies are in separate folders that match the movie title and just one movie per folder. And that way you won't have any issues. Um, if you don't have your movie set up that way, I would highly recommend going through and doing it. Uh, it may take a while and it may be a headache but it'll save you a lot more headaches down the road if you just have them named that way. Now the screen we're looking at here is the settings for the scraper. You don't normally have to change anything in there but just so you know you can hit that settings down there and you can change uh, settings from the scraper and if you choose to use a different scraper each different scraper has different settings so but I just stick with the movie database it's fine and then we're gonna click OK and then it's gonna scan clean our database and scan through and uh, add in any new video files so as you can see it's scanning up there and uh, that'll take a while so we'll cut this out and uh, yeah and after that you should be pretty much done so now that we're done scanning in we're gonna open Cody back up and uh, I did some editing here as you can tell but um, we're going to open Cody back up, and this is what your library should look like. All the movie posters I've scanned in, we can see that they're, you know, correct and um, whatnot scanned in. However, I did see one movie, the original Waiting, that didn't scan in correctly. So if you just have a couple movies that, you know, didn't the scraper didn't pick up correctly, I'll show you what you can do here to fix that. And as we get to the, the movie here that we want to fix, just past it. So this waiting one, you can see that it doesn't have the right movie poster. And if we look at, you know, movie information here and choose art, uh, we can see that there's no movie poster options. So we actually want the scraper to rescan this one, and we're going to do it manually by hitting the refresh button here at the bottom. We're going to go do that again because my stuff was scanning in, but... So we hit refresh and then we hit yes. And then we select the correct movie, which in this case is waiting. And it scans it in. We see it picks up all the information for it. And it also moves it over to the waiting collection. So now if we click on this movie information and we click on choose art, instead of not having options, we have all these movie poster options here that the scraper has given us. So we can pick whatever one we want just by clicking on it like that, and it'll change the movie poster. So, um, And that's what you want. You want your scraper to scan and everything like that. So that's, uh, that's about it. If you guys have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. Like I said, I'm not an expert 
at Cody. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video and got something out of it, I hope you did. Uh, like I said, leave a comment, um, like, and subscribe. And if enough people got stuff out of this, I may I may do some more how tos or how to fix stuff on Cody because from time to time mine comes up with issues and I need to figure out how to fix them. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you.